Hey world, welcome to The Real Ishe. So as you can see, today I'm going to be doing an actual review of some sneakers. And as you can see by the title, these are some Nike TR shoes. Nine, here you go, right here. These are the Women Nike Renew In Season TR9. As we know, TR stands for training. So these are some training sneakers. And all the sneaker heads out there, I'm sure you know, that training shoes and running shoes are completely different shoes okay so I have designed thousands of shoes and I'm very familiar with shoes and their comfort level and when I came across these shoes here as you can see let me take the other one out of this box too so you get a chance to see both of them I have not customized them yet we're gonna save that for the end of this video but these shoes right here, again, are the Nike Renew In Season TR Training 9 shoes. And a lot of people want to know, are training shoes the same as running shoes? Can you do running in training shoes? We're going to get to that as well. So I first want to go over the features of the shoe. Now these shoes are light. I can feel them. They are light in weight. You know, they always put these little things inside the shoe, you know, to keep it um, from from getting wrinkled and stuff like that when it's being sent to you or, you know, when you're going shopping at the mall, which most people are shopping online these days. So they're they're being transmitted from the store to you, but they want to make sure the shoe stays in its normal level. OK, and when you wear them, this does actually help. And a lot of people like to actually keep these. So when they store their shoes, they can actually keep the, the same form and figure of the shoes, which is good to do. Now, these have a comfortable footbed. OK, this has a comfortable footbed and it has a superior cushion in the inside of these shoes here. And as you can see right here, it actually even has the comfort footbed logo in the inside. And what that means is it has a thick let me, I'm trying to get as close as I can to the shoe. It has a thick insole in the inside of it. You know, so anybody who's doing the pumping of weights and training, you know, in the gym, these are definitely good for you. And what I like most about this particular shoe is that it has this strap, this elastic strap right here in the middle of it. So when you are training, working out, that, you know, your foot is able to move along but it also keeps it sturdy enough where you're not able to get injured which is uh, we know extremely important extremely important okay now these shoes come in a variety of colors which I have seen but this particular color here very cute for girls I mean girls love for one thing we enjoy a pink as you can see my room if you guys have ever seen my room <laughs> I have pink gold and baby blue I wanted to give you guys a little bit more insight about training shoes versus running shoes so to answer your question as it relates to training shoes and if you could train and run in shoes the same shoe the answer would be no because running shoes pretty much are mainly due to it's supposed to support your foot okay it's supposed to support your foot when you're running especially for those who do long distance running or daily running and things of that sort so you can see if you look at this shoe here it has a tough soul to it okay and that's because it's for training people who are again they're um, working out in the gym maybe they're doing some heavy um, weight lifting or maybe they're doing some bench pressing or maybe they're doing some squatting okay that's what this is for you can't flex your foot in the I'm just saying, you can't flex your foot in this shoe. It's not going to be done. So if people are using training shoes for running shoes, you're probably going to regret it because you're going to have a higher risk of injuries. Now, I do want to show you a good running shoe. And here you go right here. As you can see, it's already blinged out. The shoe is already blinged out. Um, I've already done a DIY on this shoe before. So this is right here this particular shoe is a nike tangent and i won't go too much in detail about this shoe because the review is not mainly for this shoe but it is to give you an oversight of the training shoes versus the running shoes and this shoe 
the Nike tangent and for all the sneaker heads who are very familiar with the shoes this shoe reminds us of the Nike Roshis which are limited now Nike has not been making a lot of the Nike Roshis if you notice lately but they have been coming out with other shoes that's similar to it and this shoe is definitely similar to it due to the mash the mash of it and it's also good for running this has more of a flexibility to it more and more of a bounce to it and it's more breathable in nature and that's exactly what you need if you're out if you're outdoors and you're running you want to have those two things you want to have the flexibility in the shoe you want to have the lightweight in the shoe but you want to also have that breathability through the mesh cloth that's on the shoe in itself okay so when it comes again to training shoes and running shoes there definitely is a difference and this particular shoe that I hold in my hand again is very similar to the Nike Roshi runs but it performs best when used in standard running and walking surfaces such as roads and pavements now these 10 can also be used for running on treadmills or for other activities at the gym. The shoe has not been designed to be used on any rougher terrains and doing so may cause damage. So I want to make you aware of that as well. So I hope you know this gave you a better idea of the training shoe versus the running shoe. Now let's get into this DIY. Now hello creative beings, I'm going to leave below in the description all the materials that's used including the rhinestone sizes. Just click those links and you'll be able to access those. Okay, so let's get started. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be, in the great outdoors, forever free.
right, I am all done. So I'm going to allow both of my shoes to dry. And as always, have a creative day and leave your comments below if you want to know any questions, I'll do my best to answer them, okay? All right, bye-bye.